It's a Sunday. I'm in my gym jams and I don't really care. And yes, I am Superman. Well, something a little different this time round, not completely wireless earbuds, but close to it with a neckband. These are the Lenovo LivePods XE05, which I purchased from the TikTok shop for £9.90. However, I have since found them cheaper on eBay. Yes, that's right, cheaper. So if you want to get a pair, then I suggest you go price hunting. Now, as discussed, the whole... Now, I discussed the whole are these legit Lenovo branded items in my video, which you can find up here somewhere, and I still don't know. Nothing on the subject from Lenovo, and people on the internet seem divided, so yeah, no update on that. Hello, in which case, that was a bit of a pointless paragraph, really, wasn't it? <laughs> so, why did I want to take a look at these? Well, apart from being cheap, obviously, I was intrigued with the design. With the completely wireless ones, the design of the bud, that that's the part that goes in your ear, tends to make my ears ache. So, with these being more old-fashioned, kind of conventional wired headphones, I thought this won't be an issue. And the fact that there is more space in the neckband may be a little bit better battery life, perhaps. But we can only hope, can't we? So whilst we hope, let's get in the box and see what we get. The package size is 22 by 16.5 by 3.1 centimeters, and the total weight is 88 grams. Tucked away at the bottom of the box, we have some gumph, also known as a user manual, Get some spare tips should you have a bigger canals and a micro USB to type A charge cable. And then finally, the headphones neck bud things themselves. The neck part is rubber and flexible and the ends of this is a more robust plastic. The bottom of the buds is also magnetic, so clip together nicely. So, the all important product specifications. They're using Bluetooth version 5.0, which is only three points behind the current 5.3 standard, but is still rather old, as this was initially released back in 2016. And having said that, this version will still have low power consumption and low latency benefits, so we'll see how we get on. They have an effective distance of around 10 meters, which is generally line of sight. So walking around the house, you may notice dropouts the further you get from your device. They have a 105 milliamp hour battery, which offers up to eight hours playtime and 120 hours, that's a lot, standby, and are estimated to take two hours to fully charge using the supplied micro USB cable. As I mentioned when unboxing, you will need to supply your own plug. Any five volt smartphone one will do the job nicely. They are made from a TPE material, which is kind of powdery, rubbery in feel, and has in the past for me anyway, been skin friendly and comfortable. Although I'll let you be your judge of that. They have an IPX water resistant rating, which means no worry about getting them sweaty or wet when showering. Yes, that's right showering. I'll dance, dance, dance with my hands, hands. The setup is nice and easy, as it has been with all the other earbuds I've looked at. It seems the more you spend on earbuds or headphones, the more problematic the setup and the use of them gets, and maybe that's just due to all the extra features you get when spending that extra dosh. I don't know. Push and hold the middle button with the circular power symbol to turn them on and wait for the LED to flash. Search for them on your device in your Bluetooth settings. They will appear as the Lenovo ThinkPlus XE05s. When found, press to connect. And then I always like to go into more settings and set the device type on my iPhone so I get maximum compatibility. If you want to pair them to another device, simply push and hold the power button to turn them off and then push and hold it again for around 10 or so seconds to put them back into pairing mode. The, the buds themselves don't have any touch sensitivity, so all controls are done the old fashioned way using your finger and the buttons on the neck band itself. Now, as I mentioned, I wanted to take a look at these as I was curious about the design. And to be fair, the design works for me. The material on the neckband is soft and subtle and didn't irritate me or my skin whatsoever. Also, I was surprisingly not annoyed by the feeling of them round my neck. In fact, 
I could barely feel them. Also, I gotta admit, it's a relief that with these, I now get to save four hours per week, not hunting around for a single bud that I've misplaced, dropped, or lost. Oh, and when not in my ears, the magnetic tip on each bud to stick them together was a nice touch, so they weren't actually bouncing all over the place when I was running and, no, that's a lie, don't run, don't do any exercise, whilst I was sitting at my desk. How well do the buds hold inside your ears? Well, my ears, good question. Pretty good. Sadly, I did notice the older Bluetooth 5 version though, through the stability of range. Normally, when moving around my house, I don't have any signal issues at all, but with these, I wasn't able to get more than a room away before the jitter started. When I did have a good signal, however, the sound quality was good, although it did lack bass, and unfortunately, overall, wasn't quite loud enough for my personal liking. However, using them whilst I work for background music was fine, as was the ability to make and receive calls. I had no complaints of poor quality from the other end, which tells me the microphone was also adequate. The buds have nothing clever in them whatsoever, so there's, there's no noise cancelising, minimising algorithm technological stuff, which never works anyway. But the soft tip around the bud and the old fashioned design did a good job of naturally drowning out any ambient noise. And as they're not clever, when you take one or both out, unfortunately the music or call or whatever it is you're doing can continues to play on them, unlike with most buds where it will automatically get paused. So the 24, 24? So the big question is, would I recommend these? If the design and form factor is rated higher in your own brain than the experience, then yes, they were very comfortable and the design had benefits over normal pods. But for me, the lack of any bass and the volume However comfortable the design would be the reason I couldn't actually recommend these ones. I would, however, look at paying more for a similar design, but with better audio. So that's it for another pair of cheapest headphones. If you have any questions about these ones or any others or anything else for that matter, then do please let me know in the comments box down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what she said. Please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't, and subscribing if you aren't already, and also hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos, because all of these things help me get sent more free stuff to play with and make videos for you guys. So thank you, and thank you for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me? Like they are shade on me. I thought what it